before I could show you guys, before I showed you guys, that I um, used two pounds of Italian, mild Italian sausage. I brown the ground beef, uh, the ground pork sausage before I put it in the crock pot because it only cooks for like four hours. So, um, I do all the browning on the stove first. You, you, if you're cooking it for the four hours, you can't do it in the crock pot. You have to brown it. So the original recipes didn't say anything about um, taking the fat out and we found that it was really fatty. So this is how much fat I drained from all that pork. So now I'm going to be adding the pork into the crock pot. I did not spray the crock pot because I'm making a soup. So it really shouldn't stick. It shouldn't be too much of an issue. So I'm going to do that first, and then I have this big jar of Victoria sauce. A little secret about what we do is my husband doesn't like the texture of, like, whole tomatoes, whole tomato chunks. So what we do is we put it in the blender, we blend it up, and then we put it back in the jar. So the blending portion happened the night before. We're putting in... I'm going to say a teaspoon of minced garlic. And, oh, so anyway, so we did the, we did it the night before. We don't do it and then go and store it. We don't do that. We just do it before we're going to use it. So we did that the night before. That's all done. Put it back in the jar, throw it in the refrigerator. So it is cold if you see any, like, sweat or whatever on it, <clears throat> which you shouldn't. It's winter. It's a big jar. It's a 40-ounce jar. We got it from Sam's Club. And I'm going to add the entire jar. That's why it kind of looks kind of thick, too, because we, we uh, blended up the chunks that were in it. Now I'm getting some water and I'm putting it in the jar just so I can get all the sauce out. I'm shaking. <laughs> I'm shaking it and adding the water in just to get all the stuff out of the jar. This is by far the kid, one of the kids' favorite recipes out of all the crock pot recipes. They ask for it all the time. <clears throat> It is good, though. I have to say, it's it's so good. I think this is my favorite soup out of any soup I've ever had. <laughs> Homemade or not. <laughs> so I just gave it a quick stir. You know, stir it around. Make sure... Really, my goal is to make sure that the pork is not sitting on the bottom. Because I just... I'm so afraid of it, like, sticking or something like that. So I try to mix it. Just to prevent that from happening, I'm going to set the um, timer for five and a half hours because I started a little early and we're not going to be home till 30 to eat it. Now I am adding some chicken broth because I didn't have any chicken broth. I forgot to get it in my order. I had to wait for my husband to get home to bring me some chicken broth. So I'm adding the entire carton of chicken broth, which I would have okay, done in the beginning of steps, home. but I didn't have it. We're preheating the oven because we're making grilled cheese in the oven to go with it at 8.30 at night. Um, we added carrots right before we left. That's what you see floating in there. It smells divine. Here's the bread for the, um, I did it kind of thick for the sandwiches and I put this on it because Logan really liked it. Victoria wants to try it. So 
She's gonna try it for the first time tonight. We put this on the outside on both sides. We preheat the oven, put cheese inside. We cook it at 350 or 400, 405, 400. For about 20 minutes, at 10 minute mark, we flip them. Okay, so dinner is ready. There's the grilled cheeses. This is what the soup is looking like. And that's dinner. I forgot to show the noodles. We did rotini noodles in it. And I think I like it better with the rotini noodles than the um, lasagna. So good. Tonight's dinner was Victoria's Choice. It's garlic bread grilled cheese with our homemade bread and lasagna soup. Okay, so I wanted to show you the inside of the sandwich. What I like about doing it in the oven is look how creamy that cheese looks and gooey and delicious. That's why I like doing them in the oven. Okay, so this is my first time doing this. You guys have to tell me if you like it. I broke it down to show you how much it is per serving. I did not include the um, butter, the bread, and the garlic. This is all, or the cheese. Oh, the sandwiches. I didn't include the sandwiches at all, just the soup, but I didn't. I also didn't include the garlic because, like, in our house, we always have garlic. So, I'm assuming it's a staple. And I broke it down for you guys. How much it is per serving. And how much it costs total to make the soup. And I also did um, a substitute of the Great Value Marinara. Because not everybody has a Sam's Club near them or a Sam's Club membership. And Victoria sauce anywhere else is really expensive, so I wouldn't suggest that. And it really it come to a dollar twenty four per person. Now you don't have to add the um sandwich with it because it does have the rotini, which is your that's gonna be your starch and stuff, and it'll be filling. It's got a protein. You throw a vegetable in it, which I didn't add that either, because it's part of it was a staple that we had in the house we were just throwing in whatever we had but if you want to know they were the bag of carrots was 88 cents so if you want to figure that out in the budget just add 88 cents to the total so it comes to 15 and change so you guys have to tell me i could do a little better job adding everything for sure and I would in the future. But you guys have to let me know what you guys think of me doing it this way. If you want to see more videos where I tell you how much it is. Because with inflation and everything like that. Sometimes it's important to know. You know, before you get started. So let me know your thoughts on that.